it's Robin, and I just want to remind you to focus on the little things. Too often, I think, we get wrapped up in the big picture and what our big goals are, and they seem so big and so far away that it's hard to make it there. And I know for me, you know, I'm learning so much from this having this injury, that my Achilles tendon rupture and repair. You know, in the beginning, when I wasn't even allowed to weight bear on that foot, like looking in the future and looking at um, you know, when I was going to be able to run again or, you know, do a full workout program it was pretty overwhelming because it's pretty long, pretty far away. And um, I didn't have, a, you know, a ton to, um, you know, I didn't have a ton of, of um, control, I guess is the word, over how quickly I was going to get there. So it was pretty frustrating. Um, but what I did was focus on the little things, the little changes. Like when I first injured myself, I couldn't even go up the, and down the stairs without breaking into a full on sweat. Uh, Cause it was so much work, it was so hard. So just getting up and you know, going to the kitchen was tough, right? Getting to the bathroom was, you know, I mean, I could do it, but it was a chore, it was hard. And so focusing on those little things of when those little things started to improve was kind of what got me through. And then once I was able to put some weight on it, then it's easier to, to see those little changes. You know, I can put more weight on it. Every day I can put more and more weight on it and then all of a sudden I can put my full weight on it and I don't need the crutches all day long. I just need to use them when I get tired later in the day and then, you know, pretty soon I wasn't using the crutches at all. So focusing on those little things made a really, really big difference for me. Um, you know, I think it's like if you're, maybe you're trying to make a healthy lifestyle change and maybe you have a goal to lose some weight but um, you're making some small changes that are really gonna make a difference in the long run. But in five days, you don't see any changes and you don't notice any difference. You know, you, you might get started to get frustrated. And for sure, I mean, that's, I certainly have had my days of frustration with this. But looking at the little things that have changed, um, you know, I've made it so much easier. And today was a really rough day because it was the third day in a row of me having to walk my daughter to the bus on my crutches because I can't walk that far without my crutches yet. Um, and my knee was really sore today. I think, you know, just from all this time of walking unevenly, I walk with a, you know, crazy limp. My um, boot is not the same height as my my runner. And so, you know, I'm just off kilter a bit. And so it's put some stress on, on I'm sure my whole body, but my knees were really feeling it this morning. And so my knee was really sore and I was really feeling frustrated because, um, you know, like you feel like you've come so far and then you know, maybe you haven't really. But then I decided to look at the positives and see what um, what could come out of that. And because my knee was sore wearing my boot, I've actually been wearing my shoe a lot more today than I have before, because my ankle would start to get sore. And I'm finding that it's my ankle isn't really sore and my knee feels better. So, you know, there's positive things that come out of it. But I, I do feel like um, focusing on the little things, just teeny tiny little things, any little thing, it's going to help you keep going because if you just look at how far, like, see, I'm here, my full recovery is like months and months down the road. And if I just look at that, you know, my mood is not going to be good. It's going to be hard to, to be positive and stay positive. And um, I don't have much choice to continue on this journey, but if you have a goal that you have a choice about whether or not you want to get there and it's really important to you, if you focus on the little steps along the way, um, you know, it's going to be way easier to get there. So although I know what my end goal is, is to get back to normal function with this leg, that's not my focus. My focus is what is the next thing that I need to do in the process? And so for me, that's doing my physiotherapy exercises every day and walking more um, on my on my foot without my boot and, um, you know, still taking rest breaks, not overdoing it so that it doesn't uh, swell up and taking breaks and um, elevating it, nicing it, that's all important, right? So if your goal, like let's say your goal is, um, you know, you have a, a goal of in a, in a year you wanna be super healthy. Well, maybe your goal that you're working on today is just drinking more water. So that's what you need to focus on today. You don't need to focus on how far you are from being healthy. Um, you just need to focus on little improvements and I find that people do that when they work out is they, you know, they do their first workout and they're like, oh, I'm so tough, I'm so out of shape. And if you think like that, like I'm here and where I wanna be physically fit wise is here, 
I'm never gonna make it there. But you, if you don't look at that, if you just look at, okay, that was tough, and the next day, okay, one thing was easier. I was able to do this move better. I was able to use more weight. I was able to do it longer. I didn't need as many breaks. My heart rate recovered faster, whatever, any of those things. You know, that's what you need to look at is the, the little tiny improvements. And that's gonna keep you going rather than focusing on the end goal that seems so far away and kind of impossible to achieve. So I hope that helps. I am gonna go do my physiotherapy exercises because that is my next step towards my end goal. Have a great day.